Let's play the outer world. Okay, so um, I've been stood looking at this blow for a week now. <laughs> but not really. Uh, so we're loaded up. Um, we have to talk to this geezer. Who's that in the corner? Oh, is that one of my? Oh, it's one of mine, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, let's talk. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? What that model? He did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Moisten the loins. Not imposed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Uh, how'd you know? That's... No, you have a meeting with me. Did you hear that power play, Celia? They don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. <laughs> I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Yeah, it's limp. What brings you here? Hmm. I'm just looking for the information broker. Me, I'm charting my own path, going where the wind takes me. Yeah, well, usually. A charming notion. One doesn't meet any free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Oh, well. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltoon. No, I don't like the damn stuff. Afraid not. If I have to eat one more weird science book, yeah, we'll have that one. That's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. <laughs> Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Quite all right. Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. Okay, then. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but... But... It seems we're back to the drawing board. Okay. What exactly are you hoping to accomplish if you're free on the other corporation? If you're free of the other corporation, why would you want to bring them back? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Oh, okay. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. Only ten. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but right. given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Okay. Precarious. Right. Um, and you're tired of scrounging and scraping by. Sounds like you're freer than anyone else in... Um, we'll do that one. Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are free okay. from practicality. Just join him whenever you feel like it. Oh, God, just leave me out of the conversation entirely. Yes, it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very one. How do you know he's a vicar? How do you dress like one? <laughs> so what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Oh. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. Right. On our terms, mind you. Mind you. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Who cares? Being fed and safe? That's precisely what I'm trying to do. Right. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit... Then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Yeah, kill everybody. The lady knew what's going on. Enough preamble. What's the bloody it's a plan? It's two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Properly defended? Are you sure? Um, how long did you take to figure out you need to defend your own city? Not long, but the devil is always in the details. Okay. And the salient detail here is a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, get into we'll the arms building. The most productive and secure cities in house. Right oh. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Well, I do I need one. Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Okay. Um 
Okay, you have the Bolt 52. What's the other part of your plan? We don't find one. In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in, these days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Oh! <laughs> Gee. Uh. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Oh god, I can't go back there. There should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Oh, <laughs> my hands are the wrong ones. Before I go, I need to ask you something. What can I do for you? Um, have you got a cheese and onion sandwich? Um... I met Grim, the landing pad guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Oh, no. Let's say no. Oh, that guy's a world class moron. There we go, we'll have him. He's not the brightest of minds, but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. Okay. That's not what I would call it. Right. Still, I had him posted on the landing pad in hopes that he'd stay out of everyone's way. I'll see about additional training. Thanks. Um, I have a question. I've... Do I? Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. I don't know. <laughs> Get more jobs again, am I? Okay, how? You'd head south along the road and look for a mountain to the west. Not that I'd advise it. It's a terribly dangerous trek. No. <laughs> What isn't? But if you insist on going, I'd recommend taking a local guide. Nioka would be a prime candidate. Nioka. You can keep her sober. Oh well, I make two of us. Um. Then it's good what? that I keep such meticulous notes. Okay. It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. <laughs> right. What happens to the folks stuck on the wrong side of danger? <laughs> They're in I'm danger. The welfare of a few hundred people is too minor a figure into the board's risk assessments. Hmm. Okay. And they vote in Maronark. Yes. Making all of MSI criminals in the board's eyes. Rather hard to run a business that way. Neat slightly. Okay, what exactly do you want to get... Why why exactly do you want to get back on the board? Okay, let's get that one. I've asked myself the same thing many times. Especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Oh, good. Then... You see what I have to deal with? For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. Back then. Uh, um, been to Terra 2, really. Okay. Terra 1 and Terra 2. I see the board put the best people. Really? I always thought they were refreshingly straightforward names. After all, the whole point of terraforming was to make them Earth like. Really? Here, though, the results were mixed. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. Right -o. So, um, but not MSI. Our leadership at the time certainly wanted to. Okay. And that work out. Oh, bloody hell, he's Most bloody. Most regard Monarch as a lost cause. Yeah, I do. But there were others of us who saw an opportunity. An opportunity. To improve working hours and conditions. To reform for you or for the them? Hmm. Reforms are for quitters. Nonsense. They're good business sense. Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. Really? I hope you treat them nice, whether it was good business or not, Mr. Sajar. <sighs> That's what being a community means. Treating people right, because it's the right thing to do. <sighs> Ms. Holcomb is our endlessly... Here we go. How many people in this bloody conversation? A noble thought, Miss Holcomb. Unfortunately, noble thoughts rarely sway board policy. 
bullets from. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out. Uh -huh. Creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. Right, now I'm really confused. Use the board's own tools against them, then clever. That's what I thought. But the senior executives laughed in our faces and insisted we be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. No. Um, I hope you gave them the thing. Yeah, that'll do. In a manner of speaking, many of us stayed behind in an act of quiet but firm defiance. As the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. Okay. I moved forward with our planned reforms as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. Well, I've seen outside your bloody walls. You should have known you couldn't oppose but them. But we weren't trying to. Everything we did was legal and above board. Yeah, legal schmiegel. Rules. And yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Okay. Something that keeps us from okay. anarchy. But I gotta go. Because, you know, you're boring me different. now. I don't know what this story is like. What exactly do you want back on... Oh, no, we're not going that way. I want to talk about something else. What? Oh, I have to go this way then. They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Okay. Without the board, chaos would overtake the system. Working within the established isn't a principle to snub one's nose at, Captain. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community. Being cut off means slow strangulation. Sounds fun. Okay. Seems to me anything's better than the corporate yoke. I can't fault you for practicality. They've treated you pretty roughly is it worth going back with oh god how do we get out of here <laughs> mm, i don't know i fear the msi citizens who've been dissolved into raptodon cud would disagree with you if members right. on the board can, can we go now our hardships <laughs> and provide us with opportunities <laughs> then that's the path i mean to pursue okay Besides, um i'm hopeful that additional leverage on our oh, another silly us bitch yeah equitable relationship well that's <laughs> Leverage. Just be careful. Of, oh, come on. Okay. Oh, believe me, I've learned that much. But I'm also not going to leave MSI at a disadvantage. My hope. Is I'm looking for the way out. Where's the passion. bloody answer to get out of here? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. Okay, spread them thinly. Um. Okay. I've got to go. There we go. That's it. I shoot him. Straight between the eyes. Like that. Straight. That away. You're making me nervous. Yeah. Hello. It's not making you nervous. Okay. So. Where do we go from here? We need to go to arm storage. Or do we want to go and find the other job? Let's just check me jobs a second. Okay, well we've got to go to the arms place or we can go elsewhere. Let's go through this door a minute. Okay. Um, we have this other pointer up here. Apartment. Someone's a bloody apartment. Um, I don't know how we're going to get here. Let's just have a wander around I guess so we can get anywhere what I have no idea what that means is that up okay I really ought to check everything out here really Um, search the apartment for clues. You got any clues? No. I don't want, why have I got to search the apartment for clues? <laughs> Is he... Okay, well, you know, it's cool.
could be a clue that there isn't a clue. <laughs> oh, we'll take them. Uh, should I have shut the door first? Yeah, about that, just in case someone wanders in, I guess. What's that? Purple berry crunch. So that is... Oh, quick, more of those. We could definitely do it with more of those. Energy cells. Okay. Um, nothing in bed. Books on the floor. Wait, what's that? Examine. Several ragged outfits. Okay. Ragged outfits, eh? Uh, anything else in here? Because <laughs> I can't see bugger all. Nothing's jumping out of me here, okay? Alright, let's just check in the bog. Um, no, can't see nothing in here neither. Nothing. How am I supposed to find clues then? <laughs> hmm. Is that where we came in? There's only the one damn door. And I can't see anything else anywhere. Oh wait, there's a laptop or something. Um, toss ball betting slip. Well, it can't be that one, can it? Oh wait, that's the clue. Um, okay, um, somehow the clue. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, we got a clue for some reason. I don't even think this is one of the jobs I originally got. <laughs> Let's open the door. What's in there? That's oh, locked. If it isn't even a door. Vending machine? You can check upstairs, because the apartment's probably upstairs. You know, I haven't seen him in a while. If you got stuck in an hour-long rant about mostly colonists, you'd be thankful. Okay. Whatever, dude. So there's the other stairs down. Right, what's in here? Come in, you two. Come on. Closer, so I can shut the damn door. We don't want these busy bodies bloody opening it. Right, what we got? There's no one else in here first, was there? Okay, nobody in here. We'll have that. Um, nope, can't see bugger all else. Well, you know. Oh, bottle. Oh, pick it up. Okay, nothing down the toilet. Um, hello, are you dead? <laughs> oh wait, you're asleep. I didn't know there was someone in here. <laughs> She's dead to the world, this woman. Okay. Sleep. How's my, how's our energy? Oh, we're all up. We're okay. Right, not in this one then. Let's try the next. This green thing's getting closer. What are you doing? You startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? I wasn't. I'm stamping across the room. I'm looking for Braxton. Braxton? I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you, sorry. Okay, you liar. Uh, relax. No one's a child. I'm just looking to have a friendly chat with him. Paranoid? I, I'm not paranoid. You are. I think, boy, do I seem paranoid to you? Yes. <laughs> okay, if you don't... 
If you keep giving me the runaround, I'll give you a reason to be paranoid. I do. Okay, I'll tell you everything. Well done. He told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. Right. So maybe look for him there? Thanks. That's all I needed, so maybe... okay. Okay, so apparently I got a level 12, I have no idea how. But anyway, so the uh, is she going to leave now? Or she's going to carry on working there. Alright, uh, so... This could be a bit difficult, stealing stuff when she's actually in the room. How many more times have we been caught like that? Um, okay, I wonder if she'll go away if we have a quick kip. We'll just check. Yes. Okay, so... Nope, she's still here. <laughs> so what's that? House. Okay, so we're going to go down the house. Oh, look, there's all this crap in here and I can't touch it. Examine. Drop in a care package. Well, why didn't I read that in the first place? <laughs> okay. Anything in here? Apart from turds. Nope, apparently not. Uh, where's the damn door? This way. So that's that. Now we got to do is get to the house down the road, I guess. Oh, I don't know. It's a dead body in there, you know. <laughs> All right, so the house is this way. Let's go. Chunter off down the road here. No point me nicking stuff when there's people wandering around. It's, you just lose things. Still bypass shunt. Um, from right behind. Let's talk. It doesn't say resident. Watch your step if you venture outside the walls. Ah, oh, if you think you're outside, <laughs> watch your step in the bathroom. I thought. Um. Okay, so where is this bloody house? It's down here. Oh, don't tell me I'll go out here. Please, will someone help me? My boy's in trouble. Which boy? What's the matter? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Yeah, well, I just you spoke to him. To I think he's already eaten. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Well, if you know that, well, how can you be helped? Calm down. Take a deep breath. Tell me what happened. Right. Don't you tell me to calm down. Well, you I do your own fucking dirty work, right, then. I protect him for always. How can I keep him safe if he's run away? He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisorps, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and bushes <laughs> and But he didn't listen. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can we help? If she apologizes. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Oh, do we need another job? Did you say there was a reward involved? <laughs> I do. Uh, I, I guess I can't ask you to leave the town walls for free. It is definitely dangerous out there. Gee, thanks. I got some bits saved up for a rainy day. I'll give you every last one. You just bring my taco back to me. Okay. I won't even be now you're going to pay me. We'll probably do it. It's almost like thank you. Why would Tucker run away? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. Oh. I warned him. A raptor would snap him up for his chance to go. Oh, no. Oh. His arm off and is gnawing on his little fingers. <laughs> I shouldn't listen to his mama. I promise <laughs> I can keep him safe here with me. Oh, okay. Um, where would he have gone? I saw this. Listening to those awful broadcasts that the iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them. But did he? No. Okay, well, you know. He's run off to Amber Heights. 
Oh, shut up, will you silly bitch? Um, what were you saying about the iconoclasts? Where is Amber Heights? Settlement, southwest of Stellar Bay. I don't know which is worse, the thought of my son shacking up with the nutty iconoclasts. <sighs> iconoclasts. Yeah, they probably did. Or, or maybe Marauders got him, pulled all his teeth out, crushed him into their drugs, and made him snort him. Oh, <laughs> that could happen to my. Why would you snort teeth? What? <laughs> what are you saying about it? Low-life degenerates leading innocent boys into a life of Oh, innocent boys, here we go again. Like it's noble to risk it all out there fighting for the greater good. Yeah, oh, could be right, you know. Not at all, I say. But still they preach their sermons of anarchy and rebellion to anyone who listen. Um. If they weren't holed up in Amber Heights, i knock them all upside the head. <sighs> okay, um. Okay, not a problem. Have we got the job or what? It doesn't say. Wait. Please tell me you thought about my offer. I promise. Oh, I gotta accept this job. I'm annoyed. I gotta go southwest anyway. Come on, hurry, you bloody bimbo. I'll help you find your son. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him. Yeah, if he's not already eaten. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure, he made it that far. I just know it. Okay. And if you find <laughs> any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what <laughs> I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Okay. <laughs> right, go away for God's sakes. Um right, so uh, I'm sure there's a bar around here. Should we uh, I mean we still gotta check rooms. I don't really know. Wait, look at that. Anybody here? No? Okay, that's mine now then. Okay, that's mine, because I tell you it is. Anything else? And it's pile this scuzz bucket of a place what's that another flamethrower oh and enemy cells enemy cells enemy cells Ooh, nugget okay I don't think there's anything else here we did that one didn't we yeah so let's get back out of here um, that's a road. Okay, there's nothing in that one. Oh, where are they? Okay, I'm going to have to leave them where they are. Oh, she's still going to sit there like a bossy old bitch. What do you reckon? Just I could have sworn I seen a bar. Could do with a drink about now. <laughs> These people just don't know what they're doing. Uh, there's nothing down here as far as I can tell. But we will take all the crap. Thank you. Hello. Have you seen a bar? Hello. Yeah, no. Nothing there. What about down here? Uh, I don't think I can get down here. Nope, right. Nothing down there. Uh, oh, there's that room. Will we come in there? Who knows? A bar. What are we supposed to do in a bar? Apart from have a drink and get pissed and throw up everywhere. Okay, so we got 
a bottle <laughs> while they was looking. And that one, what was that? We'll have the chocolate. Open. Here we have a room. Nice. Okay. She's a Christ. Okay, it's a little crap. But <laughs> I don't know whether we can carry all this. So I may have to uh, sell this shit up. Anything else in here? What's up there? About climbing. Nope, can't climb up there. Get out, get away. Nothing here. I suppose I ought to climb along a roof. Hmm. Right, we're on the roof. Stella Bay. There's another platform over there. So I reckon... How do we jump? Oh, jump is X, isn't it? So... Okay. Let's run. I'm over that. We just picked this in front of everybody. Eek. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Nothing. <laughs> oh. That one. Okay, so how am I supposed to get this then? You, I can't see you. Um, oh, I'm going to take it now. It's pick again. Oh, no, 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 no. That's wrong. How come I'm stuck up here? Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> that didn't go very well. Um, I was going that way, wasn't I? Twit. Stellar Bay. Okay, there's the bar. Um. Okay. Can't particularly see anything. Oh, get that way. <laughs> Especially with these bloody idiots keep getting in the way. Nothing in there. Um, have I been down here? Don't know. <laughs> but nobody's seen me, so I don't care. Alright, um... that open? No, it didn't open. Alright, so... That looks like another bar. Well, maybe. I don't know. I bought some musk from Okay. Do we believe that? Wait, uh, that's an evicted, so that's not going to open. Uh, monarch, who's in here again? Them. Bugger. I'm getting lost. Where the bloody hell am I? <laughs> okay, I don't know. What was this place? We're back in the bar. Oh, Naoki. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. We'll just Maybe get to... So uh, tell the blood from the mud. Tell the blood from the mud. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap's stomach and dig it out. 
If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Hmm. Right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't from around here. Who no, are I'm, you? I'm from over the corner there. Who are you? Name's Nioka. I'm the best big game hunter on the planet. Okay. You're also the loudest big game hunter on the planet. Uh, and the drunkest. Shut and? the fuck. Bear I deserve it, though. On account of being the best. The best? My dad always kept his firearms and liquors in different lockers. Said it wasn't safe to mix them. Out here, if you ain't a little buzz, you're liable to notice the stench of life. Grit in the air. <laughs> the dust will never drink and the blood will never boot. So, uh, you know what? It's, um... You think this is drunk? I got a, a... You need to get out more. Sit. Partake. Buy me a drink and let's chat. Okay, we'll do that then. Sure, another round. I've lost a bit. Oh, because I bought the drinks. Okay. Um, uh, vacation? <laughs> Wait. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass. Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats. Let's let's talk business. Okay. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. <sighs> Not in the mood to fetch things. How much time do you need? <laughs> I don't need an escort. Just tell me how to get to Devil's Peak. Uh, wait. More than you have, I suspect. I plan to sit here and drink until I find myself awoke and sober. And then start again? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine something? Pill. They're very good. Okay, you're very I'm good. I'm cut off for the month. I'm going to use one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Only one? Steroid, oh, you don't even know what you're taking. I know they make me see straight for a little while. Can you get me a dose of what? I'll be right back. Do I need to, is this accept or is that, no, that's got to be accept, right? Okay. Get Dioki's, oh dear, oh dear, where's the bloody dispenser over there now? Hello. Talk. Well, well. It isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drinks on me, stranger. Oh, you could have said before. Enjoy. If you plan on sitting through Nioka's stories, you might could use a few. Okay. I could use a few and tell it myself. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? Well, <laughs> let's see. How well do you know? You said you not need new friends' faces. You said you've not used to seeing new friends. Not since Amber Heights. These days we have more leaving than coming. Off to join the iconoclasts or some such. Okay. But it had a fancy ring to it. Name's the first advertising anyone sees, after all. <laughs> it's true. Nope, but a man can dream. Yes, I knew that was going to be coming. <laughs> How well do you know? Anyone who spends any amount of time in this bar is bound to get to know Nyoka. On account of her being here so often herself. Right. And I don't mean that unkindly. You do. Anyone who's rid us of as many beasts as you have is entitled to a few drinks. Something else I can do for you? No, really, I'm... Nothing right now. Trade? Okay, we're going to end there. I'm going to trade up. And um, head off. Well, we'll see you on the next one anyway. See you later.